Hi everyone, we're back. This is Tuplex, as usual. Alright, um... I don't think I need a pump here, but I am going to put one there anyway. I'm trying to establish a best practice of having a pump on the output of my tanks. Okay, so we've got our chemical processing uh, set up pretty well, I think, so far. Uh, we've got um, cracking, not set up yet, but at least we've got space for it. Uh, we're making sulfuric acid. Um, we've got lots of petroleum. We're making lubricant. We've almost got a full tank of that. And we're making solid fuel from the excess oil. Um, and now we want to run the solid fuel down to our um, power production area. So I'm just going to start running a yellow belt. Okay, and um, I, what I'd like to do with the solid fuel is to get it, bring it over here to the coal patch so that we can splice it into uh, our power generation and mining. So I'm just going to continue to bring this down. Um, here I will get it out of the way of... Copper ore. And then back over this way. And here. Okay. And then we'll go deal with that biter base. <clears throat> All right. Um, so from this point, I'm going to split it so that some of it goes to our power generation area, the power plant, I guess you could call it, and then we'll send the rest of it over there. Now, uh, for steam power, like I said, I want to prioritize the use of solid fuel over coal. So we're going to want to split this in. Uh, and actually, I want to make this... Like this. Yeah. I guess that could actually be a little bit closer. so we can see what's going on. All right, and then we're going to attach some circuits. Okay, so we're gonna set these to read belt contents, um, and that should be with a hold, um, because I just want these to tell us We just want those to tell us whether we have solid fuel. Uh, so you can see that that's reading f between 15 and 16. And we can we can see that by just connecting the circuit to a power pole. Um, if you do that, then you can hover over the pole and you can see what it's reading. Whereas you can't see that when you hover over these other things. 
I think that's a mistake. I think they should fix it so that if you hover over something that's reading contents, you can see what it's putting out. But in any case, we're getting a signal of 15 or 16 solid fuel, which indicates that it's full. So for this one, we want to disable any time the solid fuel is equal to zero. Okay, and that's really all that there is to it. So as long as there's solid fuel coming in, um, and this is just to balance it on both sides of the belt. Anytime there's solid fuel available, this particular piece of belt will stop moving. Um, so that way the solid fuel will flow. Uh, and then if there's no solid fuel, then the coal will start to go down there. Pretty simple. All right, uh, and then the rest of the solid fuel, we will run up this way and we'll do something similar for the mining. Uh, I wanna get rid of this extra stone that I've got. Okay, and again, uh, we're going to do the same thing. Okay, so these are read belt contents and hold. And this one is enable if solid fuel equals zero. And then that'll go up to all of our smelting lines. And I never added a belt to these coal miners, which is kind of dumb. Okay, so now we're using solid fuel for fuel production. And as a matter of fact, when it comes to solid fuel, I want the fuel production to be prioritized over the refining, over the smelting. So how can we do that? just set the same conditions here. If there is no solid fuel here, then this should shut off. Um, but in this case, I want it enabled if it's greater than zero. Does that really help? It doesn't matter, does it? Let me think about that. So if this is zero, then that's gonna turn off. But this is always gonna have the same amount as this. So that's... Uh, yeah, so that's not gonna help. So what would help is if we read these belt contents and hold. And we'll only turn on this one if solid fuel is greater than, I don't know, let's say four. OK. 
Okay. Right, so while this belt is full, so we can see right now it's got seven to eight. So we could even set this higher. Um, let's change it to six. All right, so as long as this belt stays full, this one will allow solid fuel to pass through to the uh, smelting area. If this belt is less than full, meaning if it's got less than five, then this one will stop so that all the solid fuel coming in will go down here. So that way when supplies run low, uh, and we can test this real quick. Let's just allow this to start to empty. Right, so we can see how that one is turned off. So all the solid fuel right now is going down here to make power. Once this gets backed up, then it'll start to let some through on the top again. Uh, let's just wait to see that start to take place. I think it's only backed up on one side now. Yeah, it's stuck on four or five. All right, so let's set that to greater than It's because this is, it's because this is not quite balanced. It's pulling more from one side than the other. All right, so let's set that greater than three, just in case it gets backed up on one side. All right, so now we're letting it through on both sides. So that'll prioritize the solid fuel to our power plant. At least it should. <laughs> okay. If we come and check our oil supplies, we can see that uh, the second pumps are running in both cases, uh, which are making solid fuel. Now we could also start making solid fuel with petroleum when our petroleum tank gets full. Um, because once the petroleum tank gets full, then we're not going to be refining oil anymore. Uh, but for now, I think we've got we've got enough coal that I'm not too worried about that. So we'll just leave the petroleum the way that it is. Uh, we're going to need that for plastic soon. We'll be setting up plastic in a fairly short amount of time. Um, for now, this is more of a way just to use up the oil that we don't need for anything else. Okay, so we've got a full tank of lubricant. So right now, everything is is going to go to solid fuel, at least until it gets down to uh, 5,000. Um, here we are making solid fuel with anything more than 5,000. Um, and the petroleum right now is, is pumping out no matter what. Okay. So uh, once we start using this for plastic, we could set it up to prioritize plastic, for example. Um, if we wanted to do that, you know, over sulfuric acid. All right. Um, what do we want to do next? Let's start making large power poles. And can I do steel furnaces yet? I think I can. Yes, I can. So let's get that set up. And we can start upgrading our lines. We're still doing fine with one pair of circuit makers. We'll need to add more once we start making red circuits. Okay, uh, so power poles we'll make up here. 
Uh, this was for steel furnaces, I believe. We'll do we'll do one stack at a time. That'll give us fifty, so that'll be enough to upgrade one line at a time. seconds so a yellow inserter on the output is good and these are to be our two different types of big power poles which are medium and large I think we'll do the medium here and the large here um, and I'm doing it that way because medium only takes two of each, whereas the large takes five of each. Um, that way we make sure that there's enough to pass to both machines. I believe so we'll do I guess we'll just do two and two got more wood okay so we've got power poles set up we've got Petroleum going. Uh, we're making steel furnaces so we can upgrade that. Um, we should start working towards red circuits um, so that we'll have those ready for blue science packs. Um, actually, we could set up military science packs already. Um, and I believe we have what we need to make those. that up yet. I want to make more engines. So let me grab some steel and some gears. I'll make more engines, but we'll set up another machine to start making red ammo because we need that as well. Alright, steel and gears and pipes. And I'll take those engines. Okay, uh, so this ought to be red ammunition which needs copper as we knew and steel Um, I know what I can do. It needs 
five copper to one steel every three seconds. Let's just uh, combine a line. I think I can do that. No, I can't. belts. Just trying to figure out a clean way to do this. That's as compact as I can make that. All right, good. So we've got red ammo. We've got turrets. Um, I think we're good. Okay. So uh, let me save real quick. And we'll go take care of these biters the northeast of us. Well, I guess it's mostly to the north. We can use our car. Um, yeah, let's just load that with yellow ammo. I've only got one piece of the red stuff. So actually, let me grab more of the piercing ammo. I'll use that for my own purposes. And then the auto load. Yeah, the auto load will use the regular ammunition. Which for now I think is powerful enough. But um, in the not too distant future, we'll start using uh, the red ammo exclusively. Uh, tool belt would be nice. Batteries and advanced electronics. Yeah, let's do tool belt next. That'll just make our job easier. Okay. This is a fairly big nest.
speed is important when there are worms, so you gotta just throw down a bunch of turrets all at once. Otherwise, um, if you don't have enough turrets all at once, you'll run out of ammunition. Um, and then the whole time you're there, uh, some of your turrets will get destroyed. So between running out of ammunition and getting destroyed, you end up failing. Yeah, I think the evolution is starting to get turned up now. Those biters took a lot of shots to kill. Okay. That's our car there. I still don't see... Ah, there's some iron down there. We should go check that out. I think that's the first uh, resource patch we've seen besides stone and coal. Try not to hit anything important. It's mainly power poles that I'm worried about. Alright. Southeast. Southwest, I mean. Speaking of power poles, though, let's see how we're doing on power. Oh, we're doing fine. Got plenty. This is disappointing. That's not a very big patch of iron at all, is it? Uh, we do have a bunch of biters though, so let's take care of those while we're here. died. Um, we should make that heavy armor. Never actually got around to doing that. Oh, we still got a nest here. So, it says this iron patch has 5.5 million, which sounds pretty impressive. Um, the problem is it's quite small, so I don't think we're even going to be able to get enough miners on here to fill a yellow belt. Um, so, this will help. Uh, we'll go ahead and mark it. So we remember where it is. Um, that will help, but um, and it'll last a long time. It's just very dense ore. Um, 
but there's because it covers a small area we're not going to be able to put a lot of mining drills on it um, we could put speed modules or productivity modules or something though that might help so we'll have to find more like that for sure uh, let's take this nest out while we're here the more we get rid of now uh, the less that will attack our base as our pollution grows and again uh, biter expansion is turned off in real world settings so um, once we get rid of them they ought not to come back okay well at least we found uh, some resources and while we're down here we'll just explore some of this as yet uncovered area and I see what is that stone yeah don't need any of that and probably never will so I don't get too excited finding stone and coal Pretty big base. Wonder if we have. Yeah, we got plenty of ammo. Let's go ahead and take this out while we're here. A lot of worms. like worms greatly. it for this expedition I'm running out of ammo um, <clears throat> and when you run low on ammo it starts to uh, autofill starts to insert less into each gun <laughs> and uh, that just means that you run out of ammo faster and if you lay them down and then run out of ammo then you're just wasting turrets and there's more worms there belt now which is a good help um, we don't need fluid wagon yet uh, we could do yeah let's do advanced electronics and then we can so we can start to research mining productivity I think that's a good upgrade to have could explore just a little ways more. Let's see if there's anything good over here. No. Nope. Okay. Well, I guess that's all that we're going to find. for now 
So, um, I mean, we still have plenty of iron ore for our present needs. Uh, we will be adding more lines soon. Um, actually, when, once we upgrade to steel furnaces, uh, we're going to be starved for iron. Um, and we can make trains now, so we'll, we'll want to start uh, getting our trains going so that we can get iron from that patch down there that we found. Science is going pretty well. I'm glad I added those extra labs. That seems to be helping quite a bit with our speed. I'll pick that one up. Okay, well I think that's gonna do it for now. Um, in the next episode, I think we'll probably start working towards red circuits. Um, plastic, of course, we need that. Um, I'll do some calculations to try to estimate how much red circuit and plastic we need to make uh, one science pack per second so that we can keep up with our red and green science. Uh, and then we'll start to put that together. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.